exactly the way I heard it from a lot of people calling the elephant the other day. You know, Harold to the elephant, and some people call the elephants a Volkswagen, actually. You know why? Because they all have trunks in the front. <laughs> you know, in the circus, the elephants are always the last one to enter the ring because they're busy packing their trunks. <laughs> By the way, now when big elephants have big trunks, do little elephants have little suitcases? <laughs> now, there's a one way to stop the elephant from charging. You know how it is? You take away their credit card. <laughs> well, elephants are actually very intelligent animals. They can work in jungles to pull heavy teeth logs, or sometimes they perform in circus. But would you believe the elephants can be great chiropractors? Normally, when you go to see elephant act in a circus, they run around in circle with the ringmaster. But here, the Nong Lok village in Thailand, the elephant, they go all over the place, right? <laughs> People from all over the world come to this place to see these mighty elephants up close. They come early because everyone wants a front row seat. Elephants are great entertainers and love to please their audience, just like this little guy. In fact, they all get down on their knees to show what they can do. But these guys don't walk for peanuts. No way. They expect you to have their favorite fruit ready. A banana or two is considered good payment. This guy gives the whole new meaning to Easy Rider. Even though elephants seem slow, they are actually quite intelligent creatures who learn from their trainers very quickly. If you want to play games with this elephant, try soccer. But don't bother bringing your own soccer ball. These guys need a king-sized one to play with. If you get a chance to play with these elephants, just remember one thing. Don't get stuck as goalie for the opposing team. This poor elephant must have met up with pirates who told him to walk the plank. In reality, this trick demonstrates what control the elephant has over his body. While the elephant doesn't stop on a dime, it certainly looks like he can turn on one. Elephants are actually the Asian version of the old American walk horse. Elephants have worked as locking trucks moving lumber out of jungle that were too dense for ordinary machinery. At last, the cleanup is done and it's time for another snack. But why have one banana when you can steal a whole bunch from under someone's seat? You have got to be quick to outsmart this elephant. It's time for a little hour and hour. While this guy takes some requests on the harmonica, the other elephants take the opportunity to get down and boogie. Eat your heart out, John Chowoda. One event at Nong Nok Village pits members of the audience against one elephant. That's right, it's tuck or wall. But in this case, it's just one quick tuck by the elephant and the whole game is over. But as strong as these elephants are, they can also be gentle too. I was told that these elephants are experts in giving great massage. I'm about to find out how great they are. Here comes my masseuse. Hey, wait a minute, be gentle now, my friend. Hey, 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 hey. this is supposed to be walk with yen, not walk on yen. Talk about a great incentive for sit-ups. I think every fitness club should have one of these. Well, that's right. Everybody should have one of those. And did you enjoy the elephant dance? It's really something else. I was told that the elephant is the only animal that have four kneecaps. Get it? <laughs> Okay, let's uh, see my apron and see what the heck it is, huh? Kneecap. Now, there. Good. <laughs> All right. Okay, Watusi was a very popular dance before. And today, because I'm so happy, I'm going to cook the dish called the Happy Family. Using 
some of the big prawns and small shrimp. Now, a lot of people, they get confused between the shrimp and the prawn, okay? Shrimp is a little guy like this. Prawn is a big, big guy, okay? So next time, don't get mixed up because if you call for the shrimp and then they would not give you this prawn. Don't expect that. Otherwise, you'll be in big trouble. And I'll be using a lot of shrimp and prawn to cook this. What is called happy family, cooking this shrimp and, and the prawn together. I call it mother and daughter together. It's really a lot of fun. And then I also use some shrimp to make some ball. Have some ball just to bring back my memory with the elephant. And it's a lot of fun, be easy to do, and all you have to do, just watch me. Okay? <laughs> all right, okay. Very simple. Now, the first dish I'll be doing is called this uh, happy family. And all I need is about 12 to 14 of these prawns. Now, all these prawns, you know, with the tail. Okay, now, first of all, I'd like to show you how to undress the, the prawn first. Okay, excuse me. Then you hang on to the leg. That's right. Hang on to the leg. And then now, don't pull the leg right here. Huh? Now, there you are. Okay, now, just hang on to the shell. And that's all you do. And keep going until it comes to the end of the tail part, you know, right here. Okay? Now, then all you have to do, just use a knife and then cut it, you know, from the top. Okay? Now, here. Cut it into the slit that. That's fine. Great. Now, see? And then cut it all the way. Now, you will notice as you cut, you will see a little black vein on the top. Eh? Now, this is a black vein. Not John Wayne. <laughs> Black Wayne, right there. Who? Oh, there you are, fellow. Then you get this and flatten it up. Okay, now using the cleaver and cut it gently. And then, just like this. Now, that's all. And you keep on doing this, you know, until you run out of prawn. Now, and I have a 14 of them. And it's very easy. And uh, it just takes a little time. And I'm not going to do 14 of them right here on this show because it's kind of boring. So what I have done is I got some of them pre-made. Now I want to do it one more time to show you. Okay, now just cut this from the top. And then open it up. When you see the black vein, just take that away. Okay, now that's all you have to do. Now after that, then all you have to do, just get, get some egg white. Okay, get some egg white here. Okay, now there you are. There. Cut that. Good. Then we put that away. And do something else. And then all we have to do now, just get some egg white and get some, uh, what we call the bread crumb. Okay, now get some, this a crummy thing. <laughs> crummy bread crumb. Yeah, that's right. And then you just put it right there. Now, press it. And then the whole thing is, is ready. Now, see, just keep on doing this. And then until it is all covered up. Okay, and I just happen to have... Uh, some helper, you know, to make 14 of them, you know, right here. Now, that's a little bit tricky, but away you go, you know, there. So we are ready. And then also, we need some shrimp. Uh-huh. Now, we just take away this prawn because I just made them already. Okay. Now, then, just get some shrimp. And then some of this corn, kernel. Okay, corn, kernel. And then some uh, red pepper. No, not red pepper, carrot. Yeah, you can have some red pepper. What the heck? I just said that, so I have to give it to you. Okay, small piece, and then cut it into small size like that. And then away we go. Okay, now, that's it. Now cut it up, and away you go. Good. And then get a little bit ginger root. Okay, and then cut a little bit green onion. All right, now then, what do we do? And all you have to do is just heat up the wok. And then we get this thing organized. Now, in order to make it look even greener, then we use a little bit of this cucumber and cut it into small cubes. Cucumber. Now, okay, let's just cut it like that. And then put it together this way. Then it will look good. Okay, now we are ready. And all we have to do now, just get our wall organized. And then we are all set. Okay. Now, then what do we do? First of all, we head up, head up to the wok with a lot of oil. Now, how do you know it's hot? Now, get our thermometer. Now, make sure a lot of bubble, you know, there. Bubble around the chopsticks, and that's ready. And all you have to do now, just get all the 
prawn that you just made, okay, and deep fry them until they're golden brown in color. Oh, they're delicious. No kidding. Now, there you are. Just get that. And away you go. Put it down. Now, it doesn't take long to cook at all. It will take a couple of minutes, and then away you go. Now, see? Oh, almost ready. Then this wok is also ready. Then you just get a tablespoonful right there. And get a little bit garlic, minced garlic. Okay, now a little bit of that. And then some ginger. And then shrimp. Everything together. Now, okay. Ah, very good. Now, then all you have to do now is get a bit of water. And a little bit of tiny cooking wine. To this one. And a little bit of salt. Okay, now, and then all you have to do, just put a little bit of starch solution. One tablespoonful of starch to one tablespoonful of water. And then you just mix this. Okay, and a few drops of sesame seed oil. Away we go. All right. Okay, then the other one, we are ready too. So all we have to do now, just get our chopsticks and a fishing net. Then we get our prawn already. Look at that. Oh, they are nice and golden brown in color. Okay. And all you have to do now, just pick them up and then strain and drain them. All right. Okay. Then we are ready. Then what do we do? All we have to do is just get a plate. And then you arrange all this prawn around here. Oh, boy. Now put them all here. What the heck? <laughs> That's right. And then you just uh, put this thing around. Oh boy, depends on how much time you have, you know, really. Uh huh. You have no time, no problem. Now just arrange it. Uh huh. Now there you are using a chopstick. If you're not very good with a chopstick, use a little bit tong. Tong. Now, okay. Now put it right there. And then go around. Hmm. And then you can get some lemon. Okay. And go around in the middle. Okay. Put a little lemon ring. Lemon ring for the for the elephant coming. Lemon ring. Okay, now put it out like that. Very good, very good. Okay, and all you have to do now is just pick up this little shrimp, you know, right in the middle. And then away you go. And then put it right in the middle of this little thing. Here you are. This is called the Happy Family. Just for you, and I'll be right back after this message. Welcome back. Oh, wow, we had a ball. Now, now I'm going to make you something very exciting called a shrimp ball. Using the shrimp or prawn, whatever you have. And then it's going to be very exciting because you can use it not only for a uh, big party, but also for order or midnight snacks. You know, you want to have a ball. Okay, what do we need? We need some of this uh, prawn here or shrimp. Doesn't matter because later on, they're going to mix these two together, you know into small pieces now. All you need just some of this, roughly about a pound, and then cut it up into small pieces, you know, like that. Okay, now, if you have a uh, food processor or grinder, all you have to do is just put them in and make it work. But I like to work with my cleaver because the cleaver is very clever. Because not only you can use it for cutting your meat, but also use it to mince whatever you have. And it works well if you have two cleaver as well. So, and also I'm going to put some of this uh, water chestnut, just few slices. If you don't have water chestnut, put some onion, dice them, small pieces. That's all you have to do. And then put some of the green onion. Okay, now there you are. Cut it up into small pieces, just like that. Okay, now very simple. And then just mix them. Mix them up, and then get two cleaver. Now then cut them. And then just go. Yeah, there you are. Oh. Now see? Now see, you just put mix all this thing together and become your shrimp paste. Now this is all directional cleaver. So you can walk this way and also you can walk uh, the other way. And then you can walk this way. You know, see? 
And then you can do it like this. <laughs> so all kinds of things. Okay, there you are. You mix this thing together. Oh, what the heck. This is called a walkout. Jane Fonda should learn a little bit of this cleaver. That becomes a walkout. You know, there you are. Mix this. Good. Then what do we do? Now, then all we have to do is just put this into a bowl. This bowl has a name. The name is called Derek. <laughs> bowl Derek. Yeah, that's right. And all you have to do now is just get this thing together and get some pepper. There you are, Sergeant Pepper. Put a little bit of salt. There you are, a little bit handful. A little bit of the Chinese cooking wine. And then put a little bit wonder powder. Wonderful wonder powder. And then a few drops of sesame street oil. Huh? Mix all this thing. Okay. There you have to do. And then all you do now is just mix this thing together. Okay now. Mix them. Use your hand. Why not? Put your hand into this. And then uh, you can work better. Now like this. You get some of the breadcrumb, uh, not breadcrumb, bread pieces, you know, like this, huh? And then all you have to do now is make this into a ball, okay? Now, have a ball with this thing here. And then when I was learning how to cook, I was told that if you hit your, your shrimp like this, then you get rid of all the air, <laughs> all the hot air from the shrimp, okay? And then it will stick together better that way. Okay, now you get this. And then all you have to do now is just put this thing right on top of the, the bread pieces and then do it again, now, like that. Okay, now keep going until you run out of this uh, stream. Okay, now very simple. Now, there you are. And then more to it. Okay, just put some of this and some of that. Huh. Now, depends on your budget. You know, you can make your ball any size you want. See, this is good for the finance minister, the minister, to learn this, you know. And then uh, maybe they can help uh, to uh, walk their budget, you know, better. Okay, now just put it like this together. Okay, it looks a little bit messy right now, but when you use a hand, why not? Now, okay, now there you are. Don't waste though. Waste not, walk not. You know, that's the word. <laughs> okay, then one more ball. Then we are ready. Okay, we are ready to do this. Oh yeah, we are having a ball, aren't we? Now okay, now all you have to do now just put this together, get some of this bread, and then away you go in the hot oil, and then put it in. This is a real shrimp ball. Now see? And then put it together. Huh. And then you just clean up your hand. And then away you go. Wait for the ball to get done. Now, okay. Then all you have to do now is just keep doing this. Now, there you are. Oh, they look nice already. Huh? Nice and brown now. Okay. Now, there you are. You just let it there. And then while you're waiting, you get yourself organized. Get a plate. Get a plate. Wipe your hand. And get a plate. Get one of this. Uh huh. Now there you are. Dry up this. Clean up the mess. And then you clean up your hand. Put your hand in the hand of the man. <laughs> then you will. Who steal the walk? Okay. Now put all those uh, green thing here. And then you walk back to the shrimp once in a while. Hi. How are you doing? Ah, you doing fine. You're doing fine. So am I. So you put all those things here. Put all those a little. Cucumber, huh? Cucumber. Cucumber has a lot of water, vitamin C, you know, and you can just eat it like that. A lot of water there. Actually, it's good for camping. All you have to do, just bring a couple of sticks of uh, cucumber and then go uh, hiking, and uh, you never have to bring your water. See? There you are. There you are. You get that and ready. And all you have to do now, just get yourself organized. I don't know. And uh, put some more of this thing here. The lemon. Lemon ring lemon ring so that it smells good and it's excellent and all you have to do now just get your ball together okay now then before I do that I like to put a little nice flower right in the middle okay so that it will look good huh? now there you are hey. then you get your fishing net and then get your balls organized there you are the shrimp ball you know just right there and they're all done and they're exciting and easy to do and I'm going to come back with my guests to try this. So don't walk away. I'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back. Now, 
didn't take long, and I'm extremely happy. And then I have this, uh, the first one is happy family with my shrimp and the prawn all done just for you. And what over here, this is called a shrimp ball. It's very exciting. I made it just for you, and I hope you enjoy this. Hi, Charlie. Hello, yeah. Good. Yeah, boy. Did you are enjoy we, the I, show? Are we ready? Yep, yeah. I'm ready. You want to read the co fortune cookie first? Where's the beef? Where's the bee? Yes. <laughs> Where? Oh, Charlie, where's the angel? Oh, up there. Up there, huh? <laughs> That's good, Charlie. Let me read this, huh? Okay. It says, Lau Duck Ching San Joy. I like ducks. La Pa Mo Chai Siu. I like ducks. Do you like that? Yes. You know what it means? No. He said, while there is a green hill, there's always firewood. Make sense? Yes. With the hill, there's a firewood. If yeah. You can, if you can find them. You can find them. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, now let me get you to try this, huh? Now, you might have a problem with your chopsticks or something. Yes, I and do then, have. Huh? But I have four, you see. You have? Yes. Four, sing four fingers. That's all you need. <laughs> four, four chopsticks. Four chopsticks. Go yeah. ahead and try it out. See what happens. Can I use the spoon? You can use a spoon. You can use a finger. Whatever Thank you me. want. It's your show, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to meet your angel someday. Well, okay. some, when you're not busy. I'll, when I'm not busy. Yes, okay? I'll take When you. I'm not walked out. Okay, yeah, you go I'll, ahead. Keep you. busy and uh, keep eating. Mm. All right? And the folks at home, you keep busy and keep on watching because you're going to be, uh, have a lot of fun and keep on watching. i see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>